Hey everyone! So Halloween is around the corner and we are already in autumn so I thought I'll uh, teach you how to paint a sunflower which is uh, very common in Halloween themed cards or invitations and it's a fun flower to paint. I personally used to be very scared of painting sunflowers uh, until I discovered this easy technique to paint it. We are not going to draw too much of the sunflower but we will just draw some guidelines and then we'll go ahead and paint. Uh, for raw material I'm using 300 GSM 100% cotton watercolor paper and I'll be using the colors permanent yellow light. I will use a little bit of brown to mix it with the yellow and for the leaves I'll be using olive green and for the center of the flower I will be using Van Dyke brown. So you don't have to stick to the same colors, uh, anything similar would do. I will be using my silver brush which is size 6 and I will also be using my favorite short liner brush which is the Princeton Heritage short liner size 10 by 0. Okay, so let's get started for drawing. What I do usually is just draw the center first which would be a circle. And instead of drawing each of the petals, I will just mark the guidelines for me to see where my petals has, have to go. And they just come out of the center. So I've marked my center and I'm just making these guidelines where I would like my petals to go. So you don't have to uh, draw each petal. Each of the petals we will uh, paint freehand because it gets very tricky if you try to draw you see if I, I'm changing the direction of my guidelines so if I want the petals to be this way I'll make it a bit curved and then on top I want the petals to be in different direction so I'll make it in the different direction so yeah this is it uh, for drawing we will just uh, draw these guidelines and then we can uh, go straight away to painting so wet my brush and I'm just removing some excess water by wiping it down on the rim of the jar like this. So it doesn't have to be too wet. Then I'm taking my Van Dyke brown and marking the center. I'll keep this white here as a highlight. And I'll try to pick up some more paint here to remove any excess to make this highlight even more strong. Let's get to the petals. So for the petals it's yellow. I'm going to mix a very light yellow because um, yellow is a tricky uh, color to paint with. Uh, it don't make it too dark. Uh, make a first layer of very light petals and then we can add more details and make it darker. So I'm just following this guideline and I will touch the center a bit to just pull some of the paint just as I was putting the paint I realized my lines are too dark so with the yellow color actually you should lighten the lines as much as possible but for you to be able to see I'm not going to lighten it but I would suggest you lighten the lines so that they don't show through yellow is a very uh, see-through color so I'm just marking all the petals if you want you can take a bit of brown to change the shade okay let's make all the petals now so I'll just take some yellow on my brush again and I'll take a little bit of brown on the tip of my brush so to make the petals what I'm doing is just pressing the tip of my brush first just the tip and then I'm pressing the belly of the brush to get the rest of the petal and then lifting it so let's uh, do that again this one is really light so i'm going to draw it again i'm just lifting the brush to make the petal let's go on the other side so um, the blank spaces between the petals we'll fill up later for now we'll just make the first layer of the petals and then we'll make the second layer later. Try to make your petals in all directions. As you can see, again, I'm doing the same, just pressing my the belly of the petal and then lifting the brush. 
and make it on all the directions uh, so that it's not very symmetric we want a very loose and uh, fun sunflower it's not too detailed again go all along if you want to make an overlapping petal you can so I, here I want a petal which goes behind like this here as well I'll make an overlapping petal again I'm trying to make it in all different directions press the belly lift up the brush and uh, yeah just continue this throughout the flower just go around make it in different shapes and different directions and then we'll come back and add more details to this and fill up the gaps okay I've made the first layer so now what I'm going to do is start filling up the gaps by making a layer of petals behind this wait for the first layer of the flowers to dry before you do that the back of the petals would be slightly darker so you can mix a little bit of brown with your yellow to get a darker shade of the yellow and the process is the same I'm still taking this darker shade on my brush and a little bit of brown on the tip and now I'm going to go around the whole flower again trying to fill up these gaps so what I'll do is just fill these with yellow but I'll make a petal coming out from here like this let's do that for the rest of it as well again just filling up this gap and making a petal come out from the back of this petal something like this I'll do the same here layering the petals all across so one tip is that if you want to maintain the shape so that it's not too long on one side you can make a second circle around it so what we can do is create a second circle around this to make sure you just stick to this rough shape like this and then let's make the rest of the petals all right the flower is dried up so i'm going to now take my short liner brush and i'll start adding some depth and details so for this i'm using van dyke brown the darker shade of brown and i'm going to start adding some details here in the near the center of the petals which comes to the center i'm just adding some details to give that depth to this flower and it doesn't have to be too dark really light watery shade to it okay now uh, I have added some details now if you see cl closely there are some white gaps what I'm going to do is add really dark Van Dyke brown in these gaps to give it more depth and to enhance the petals individually so I'm going to take some dark Van Dyke brown and I'm going to make basically the edge of the petals like this to give it a very dark defined edge just at the tip which is closer to the center. A very dark one it gives a nice definition to your petals
so it's a very simple trick to get a very good effect nice deep effect so uh, keep it like this for now we'll work on the center now so i want to add some more depth to the center as well so i'm going back to my bigger brush and i'm taking the van dyke brown this time i'm just uh, adding spots all along to mark these small stamens so i'm just going to dab it all along and i'll try to keep it dark at the edge and lighter in the center all right great so you can see there's a nice depth to this flower now if you want to add more details to the petals go ahead feel free to add more details i think it's looking perfect for your fall themed illustration that you might be making sunflower leaves are really big and beautiful so we can paint them as well again i want to be um, quite free about this so i'm not going to draw it it's going to be a loose one i'm using olive green using my brush again the big brush not the short liner and i'll just mark some petal from here some leaf from here so something like this sunflower leaves are really beautiful and big so you can play along with this how big you want it to be and i'm going to make it very rough i like this loose look to my sunflowers they also have a very sharp edge to this so i'm just brushing my brush to give that tip sharp tip and edge to this petal so i'm just using the tip to move this move it like this and lastly we'll probably add one more leaf i am thinking maybe here so again similar so i'll just first drop the paint in a rough shape of the leaf and then take some darker paint and use my tip of the brush you can see i am resting my little finger to give me some support and then i'm just moving this to get that sharp edge to this petal here as well beautiful so let it dry if you want to add more details like the veins you can do that after it's dried up i am pretty much liking how it's looking right now so uh, that's it i hope you enjoyed this lesson i am eager to see what you make uh, tag me on instagram at petite procrastinator and follow me on youtube for more videos